The West Ada School District offers high school students a way to try on a career. By taking a career in technical education class, you can find out what you like and don't like while in high school before making college and career decisions. Students who take CT classes walk away with a lifetime of useful skills and experiences. This video will share CTE Magnet High School Pathway options so you can get started in developing tools for life. The CTE Center Renaissance Campus offers health sciences, protective services, construction, culinary arts, and pre-engineering classes. Fire service jobs are exciting, dangerous, and highly regarded. With this class, expect to get hands-on practices, work with local fire departments, exercise, take orders, and participate in a variety of drills. Those drills consist of either raising ladders, carrying ladders, tying knots, uh, search and rescue, ventilation, um, just a whole bunch of different aspects. The stuff that we get to learn about is just fascinating and if you're one of those people that want to help uh, society and your community, then it's something for you. If you think you have what it takes, Find out by taking the first class, Orientation to Police, Fire, and Emergency Services, your 10th grade year. The Pharmacy Technician class will provide you with the knowledge and practice you need to become successful. It actually tells me what I'm going to do and like the environment that I'm going to be working in. That's really important because there are some classes that just don't give you that in-depth experience, but in Pharmacy Tech, you can actually experience that for yourself. Students learn online through virtual scenarios and those that qualify are placed in local pharmacy internships and earn an industry certification. A partnership with Idaho State University allows students to learn compounding skills in a state-of-the-art lab. We've done a couple labs and I think the labs are the best part because then you get really the hands-on experience and really get a feel for how the like working in a pharmacy would actually be. want to do anything medical in college, this is a great way to start. CNAs are in high demand. Successfully completing CNA includes earning a nursing assistant and an American Heart Association certification. Students practice their skills in stage classroom, which includes medical beds, mannequins, and supplies. Local internships allow CNA students to work directly with patients and other care providers, giving them valuable experiences. Well, I'm in the certified nursing assistant class and some of my favorite things are that we can basically do a variety of medical skills like taking blood pressure, helping elderly residents. You basically just get a good introduction to the medical field. In the EMT program, students can earn a CPR, a national registry, and a state emergency medical technician certification. We are being trained and certified to become EMT Basics. The EMT Basics class is focused on life support, pre-hospital care, and working on an ambulance. Becoming an EMT is a serious commitment and requires a strong mind, body, and heart. This class will help me get a job right after high school. Like, while being in college, I can work part-time and still go to school and make a decent amount of money. To qualify to take EMT, CNA, or pharmacy tech in 10th grade, Take a full year of health professions taught at your home high school. Then in 11th grade, take medical terminology. Related careers in law enforcement, detention, and corrections can be very rewarding. It requires discipline, knowledge, practice, and commitment to be successful. These classes teach students what it takes to make it through the rigorous training required to be hired. My favorite thing about taking this class is just the atmosphere about it and how Everyone who does take this class takes it seriously, but there is also like this sort of bond that we all have of like watching out for each other. Beginning your 10th grade, take orientation to police, fire, and emergency services to see if this career is right for you. Cooking, baking, and getting creative best describes the culinary arts pathway. So pretty much what it is, is it's taking all the basics we learned from foods and nutrition and the other culinary classes we've taken, and it's putting them in more of a restaurant setting. As a senior, join other culinary-minded students in a beautiful high-end culinary center. 
Together, students run Cafe Renaissance and have opportunities to show off mad culinary skills by helping local businesses at special events. Just do it. It is so much fun. It is really, really worth it to come in and do it. Yeah, you have to travel if you aren't from Renaissance, but it is so worth it. Take foods and nutrition your 10th grade year to get started. Students begin the residential construction program by learning to build mini mock homes. This prepares them to take on bigger projects in advanced classes. As a junior and senior, expect to be bused to a construction site and work on a community project. So I'm in residential construction three, and right now we are building a house. Uh, you're able to gain the hands-on experience and you understand it better. I want to be a civil engineer when I'm older, so this is giving me background knowledge so I'm able to do it. Take residential construction one in 10th grade for a perfect way to start building a career. The pre-engineering pathway gives students a great head start for any student thinking that they want to become an engineer. At the advanced level, students can take civil engineering and architecture, digital electronics, computer integrated manufacturing, and aerospace engineering. Well, I really like engineering because I'm like a huge problem solver and I really like working hands-on and working with teams. And right now we're doing a glider project and so we have area simulations which helps design our glider that way we can test and make sure that it will be able to fly before we actually construct it. It may seem really intimidating, but engineering is not just like a bunch of math. It's honestly super fun. To see if you would like to be an engineer, check out Intro to Engineering in ninth grade. Early childhood education pathway classes provide mentorship and practice on how best to interact with young kids. Students learn to cultivate positive relationships and plan activities that foster health, growth, and development in young children. The time spent at a child care facility or elementary school interacting with young kids provides students lots of opportunities to try out new activities and make improvements. Um, my early childhood education class is different because it's really hands-on and interactive. We spend a lot of time out of the school and it's not like every other class. Like you're not just sitting at a table, you're, you get to work with kids. Think you may want to work with kids and understand their needs? Take parenting and child development your 10th grade year. And then, as a junior, decide between an education assistant class or taking early childhood education, all based on your career goals. Offered at the CTE Center Meridian Campus are agriculture, welding, fabrication, mechanical, natural resources, and automotive services program classes. Automotive services include three pathways, auto technology, diesel technology, and collision repair. All of these CTE options include access to large state-of-the-art shops, equipped with industry standard tools and machinery, and all three pathways begin in 10th grade. AutoTech is all about learning how to troubleshoot and repair engines, systems, brakes, and all the parts that make a car run smoothly. Students run a live shop that includes ordering parts, estimates, and a wide variety of work on community vehicles. So I'm in AutoTech 3. Um, we work on cars. Sometimes I bring in my own truck and my own cars and um, whatever's broken on them or if I want to upgrade something and maybe make it go faster. It's, really a skill that I think everybody should have is at least just some basic knowledge about cars that can really help you in, in the real, real world. Think about becoming a good troubleshooter and drive straight into taking Auto Tech 1. In collision repair, students walk away with SP2 safety certification. Being detail-oriented, creative, and analytical are all part of being good in this field. One of the best parts of it is learning how to give your ride a sweet paint job. And it is very rewarding to start with a piece of junk and watch it roll away brand new. I'm in collision repair too, and we're learning how to repair cars, working on different stations. like. We have our MIG welding and then we have oxy welding and some plastic welding that we're doing. And then we're also taking out dents with like putting in body filler and stuff. Take these classes because even if you 
don't use these in your future, it's really nice to have them versus having to pay like a dealership to fix your car if you know how to fix it yourself. Get rolling in Collision Repair One. Taking a diesel technology class is an ideal way to learn about the real world. Locally, there's a high demand for diesel mechanics. With mechanic skills, you can go anywhere, find work, and make a good living. This class has helped me decide about future career options by giving me a taste of the industry. I didn't know if I would fit in in a shop or things like that with the other guys, but once I got in this class, I got experience, and it helped me reinforce the confidence that I had being able to work on engines and truck systems. A diesel engine will always tell you the truth. If you fix it correctly, the reward is that it runs. To begin this pathway, as a 10th grader, take Diesel Technology 1. When it is time to till your garden, hop on your dirt bike or use a snowblower, it's all good unless it doesn't run. Knowing how to select, fix, and maintain outdoor equipment powered by small gasoline engine is useful and can even power up a career. I just think it's really good like skills to learn and know for when something breaks down and you can fix it. It's really hands-on and I've always learned better that way rather than like just sitting in the classroom doing work all day. Honestly, I was really hesitant to take it because I'm a girl, but it is really fun. Students who complete the small gasoline engines pathway may earn two related industry certifications, so sign up for the intro class. Students in animal science can earn an animal care certification. They study the principles of animal nutrition, care and behavior, reproduction and anatomy. As seniors, they have an amazing opportunity to take a vet assistant internship class. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up, so I think this class will help because it kind of gives me a little bit of a head start. It's helping me figure out like if this is what I want to do um, because we get those opportunities at the externships. And it's just an amazing opportunity to like uh, learn new and hands-on skills that you wouldn't get in your average classroom. Don't miss out. Take Intro to Animal Science your freshman year. Students going through the natural resource pathway tend plants in a greenhouse. They learn about ecosystems and the relationship between animals, plants, and the environment. Right now I'm in Natural Resources, which is a, a year-long class, and I've been learning how to manage uh, wildlife with livestock on the range and just other cool things, that issues that happen out there. My favorite thing about taking this class is probably that I get to learn, like, there's just so much that you don't realize that's happening out there with, with the livestock and how to manage them, and I just find it really interesting. Whether you choose plant sciences or the natural resources pathway, the starting place is the same. Start getting your hands dirty by taking Intro to Plant Science in ninth grade. The American Welding Society estimates that by 2020, there will be a shortage of 290,000 welding related jobs. In the welding program, students learn far more than how to use a torch. Skills include advanced welding techniques, identification of metals, mechanical theory, and even some design work using AutoCAD to program a plasma cutter. Most of the time, students practice their welding in an impressive double-sized welding shop with current industry equipment sponsored by Miller. We weld and test so we can be AWS certified, which will give you a better opportunity to be in the workforce and have a better job. And also with AWS, you can be certified in all the welding right out of high school. So right out of high school, you can get an internship or you can get a job and work wherever you want to. Seniors in Welding 4 design and build projects such as trailers and barbecue smokers. Most students graduate earning a nationally recognized welding certification. Get started your sophomore year and sign up for both Welding 1 and 2. At the CTE Center Centennial High School campus, the district offers students the opportunity to take computer science classes. Computer science classes teach important skills needed in every industry. 
programming includes exploring web graphics and animation, understanding seven big computer principles, and taking a deep dive into Java and other computer languages widely used in the world of work. Writing code, printing 3D objects, and knowing how to build and defend a network are all skills developed and practiced. In the programming pathway, as a senior, expect to work on a team that designs, tests, and presents an innovative programming project. And in this class, we like create databases that kind of are real-life scenarios, and we work as a class to fill them up and make them ready for like a work environment. I tell like, my freshmen just to like go with an open mind. It's a really fun class, and I've had a blast doing it. On the web design side, the focus is on creating and publishing web pages. Learn to develop an interactive website using HTML, CSS3, and JavaScript. Also learn how to turn chaos into order by becoming a database guru. The top level culminating class focuses on learning to launch an interactive small business website. So I'm in Web Design 1 and we're basically just learning the basics of HTML right now and a little bit of CSS coding. So we're learning how to basically make a web page. We should definitely take it. It's super fun. Computer skills allow you to unleash your imagination and make the impossible possible. Take Exploring Computer Science and Web Design 1 at your home high school in ninth grade. When the time comes to travel to a CTE center, expect to travel for half a day every other day. With parental permission, you can drive yourself or busing is provided, unless the class includes a local business learning experience. Another benefit to consider is every CTE pathway offers the opportunity to join a related student organization, which includes competitions and community events, as well as an easy way to make lifelong friends. Other benefits may include a chance to earn college credits and industry certifications. So before you sign up for these specialized classes during spring registration, be sure and check out all the details covered in the CTE section of your high school's course handbook. Employers, the military, and colleges are all looking for confident learners who can demonstrate what they know. By completing CTE pathways, you will leave high school with experiences and knowledge that will give you a competitive advantage whether you go straight into the workforce or onto college or both. So be sure and get started in ninth or 10th grade so you can leave high school with tools for life.